In this aside, I'm going to go through how to silence an Apple AirTag. These are incredible little gadgets. They work on radio. They don't have a GPS, but by using Bluetooth, they can work out where they are in relation to your phone. But if you lose them, they can use any iPhone to work out where they are in relation to that iPhone, which then tells Apple where, where the uh, AirTag is. And that's how they do location. Fantastic for finding things, and that's what they're designed for. What they're not designed for is tracking things, so putting in cars and things like that. However, they are very useful if you want to conceal them in a car, on your bicycle, I've got one in my kayak, anything of value that could potentially get nicked, you can put one of these on. But there's a problem. Apple were very aware that these small devices could be slipped into a purse or a pocket or whatever and used for nefarious reasons for tracking people, either a partner that's not trusted or worse than that, somebody they're stalking or, the, or worse even. So what happens is if your phone detects that a, a foreign air tag is moving alongside with it, then it notifies you. And as part of that notification, it, it allows you to play a tune on the air tag so that you can find it. The problem is if you've concealed this in a vehicle or on your bicycle or somewhere that is something you don't want stolen, playing that tune will give away its location. So I'm going to cover here how to remove the speaker. It's not particularly difficult and it doesn't stop the air tag from revealing that it's there, but it does make it much more difficult to find. Now, hopefully you're not going to use this for stalking this information. Um, it is very useful if you want to put one of these in your car. So I, I put one of these in any vehicle. You can put them inside the seat lining. You can put them somewhere, somewhere discreet. But remember, don't put them under the bonnet and things. They need to be somewhere where the iPhone, an iPhone, can connect to them. The irony is if somebody pinches your car, it may well be their iPhone that dobs them in by picking up your AirTag. So I've marked this air tag with some little marks as to where the clips are. Remember that you can't line that up with the Apple symbol because it could be anywhere. Unfortunately, I smudged one of them taking that off. So you pop the case and take the battery out. Pretty straightforward stuff. So here I've marked, well, that one's smudged. I've marked where the clips are. Remember that they're in relation to the little power connector which is in the middle there so line them up work out where they are and you pop a sharp knife in watch your fingers and you literally just pop them until they open that much it's pretty straightforward and you go round and normally when you've got two of them popped the whole cover will come off so that's it without its cover and in the middle here that's where the speaker is. There's normally a little bit of glue or something like that, which tends to seep round the edges, which sometimes you have to just break that seal. So here I'm going around very, very carefully, lightly breaking that seal. And often when it comes off, it's magnetic. So it'll just clip to your knife, pop to your knife like that. And there's the speaker. There's not much to it really. And when you look in here, what you need to be careful of with these small wires. So that's the wires that, that, that power the speaker and you not need to not break those. I'm not sure if it would work if you broke those. Putting it back on, again, line up the, uh, the, the battery terminal with the one in the middle there. Line it up, push it hard and it should all clip back in. And here I just rub my marks off because I don't really want to highlight that this one's had its speaker removed. Then you pop the battery back in and put the cover back on as usual. But remember, this time when you put the cover back on, it won't beep because it doesn't have a speaker. And that's the test that you've done it properly. I hope that helps. Hi there. 
this video is what I call an aside. It's not part of my main channel, but it's where typically I promise somebody a bit more information or I want to make a video that's not really mainstream for my channel or maybe much too long to go on my channel. But if you like this and you found it useful, you may like my main channel. So check it out. I'll put a link up here and uh, have a look and join us.